Look. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa, Jesus, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you fancy a game of football? Well, as long as it's not you playing, mate, because that was ridiculous. All right. Whoa. What time does the game start? Uh, Tuesday? Hmm. That was a wasted journey then. Uh, we got nice ponchos out of it though. Hmm. That worked fine for England. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Why? HTTP2. Why? Well, we have to turn around and say, <laughs> lol, no. Sorry That's guys. Yeah, it's all broken, isn't it? You know that stuff we said? <laughs> we were lying. We've got to change everything that you do. It, with HTTP2, the rules all change. Yes, because, well, let's think of this through, right? Because the requests are, they're not as expensive anymore, are they? Because you've got, like, was it one TCP stream or whatever? Yeah, yeah, with HTTP2, you've got one, one stream, uh, one connection even. So re requesting new files, it does not have to open up a new connection. It's just all part of the multiplex stream. So now you can what? Like you can send down, or you send down all your separate files. So spriting goes away, uh, yep. concatenation goes away. You still in line? No, you probably wouldn't, would you? Well, probably not. No, I, I, I think because it's it's not. I mean, you're still going to have the request and response, but you, you uh, all those headers are compressed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're yeah. a big deal. Like yeah. it needs to be one. You, you've got like a k and a half of headers sometimes with cookies and, and that. If you multiply that by like eighty mm -hmm. requests in a page. That really stacks up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. and compression just takes care of that because you don't have the slow start for most of it as well mm -hmm. because you're you're on that single TCP connection. Okay. Yes, yeah, and, and so I guess uh, you're probably the same as me. When you write CSS, do you have like a CSS file per component? And, yeah, pretty and, and much. Stuff? I'd say so. Thereabouts. I think we can get to a, a point where we just serve all of those files separately. That sounds really, really nice actually because it just it reduces that build step quite. A bit, really, yeah. you know, you just sort of, here's the thing I made, push it up live, that's good. Actually, the talking pushing, there's a, that's another thing about HTTP2 as well, isn't it? And, you know, you can request one file and get all those. Yeah, yeah, you can say, you know, oh, you want the page? Well, I'm going to give you the page, but yeah. special bonus prize, here's some CSS, here's some JavaScript that I know you're going to need. And it will say, like, here's what your request would look like, and here comes the response, just going to throw it at you. Downer, what if you've already got it? So. Yeah, I was looking at this. The, the client actually can uh, send an RST underscore stream. Oh wow, that's uh, catchy. Packet, yeah, and, and that's and that's going to tell it to and you know identify a particular stream and say, could you not, mate? <laughs> you just you just back off. Could yeah? you stop that? I've already there's... already got it. Yeah, and and there is a you can end up with a situation where you know by the time you you know send that to the to the other side it's already sent you an entire file anyway yeah. so there's going to be some wasted bytes yeah, we don't know that's too bad though right we don't think it's too bad yeah, yeah. It's probably better that way around than having to kind of request everything over and over and over again so okay you decide you're going to ignore paul and jake's advice wisely because http2 is kicking off yep. but there's not every client's going to be http2 aware right you still got http1 clients so how how is a developer gonna kind of come Handle both. Well, I mean, the servers are going to take care of that automatically. But yeah, I, I take your question. You, 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 I take your point. We've got this issue of: Do you, as a developer, play to HTTP two strengths, or do you kind of fudge it for HTTP one? I reckon. I reckon if you built something that only works in evergreen browsers, you're probably safe to be like, I'm just going to do HTTP two, right? Yeah. So multiple CSS files, multiple JS files, yeah. everything sweet. I reckon, oh, the HTTP2, it sends uh, an upgrade header, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So you could differentiate on that. You could be like, ah, if I get that upgrade header, I'm going to send you the HTTP2 version. Oh, I see what you're talking about. And so then you might build some two versions in your build script to like concatenate in one, not concatenate in the other, and then basically differentiate based on that header whether you're going to, which one you're going to send. So you cater for both. <laughs> winner, winner, oh, chicken that's a good dinner. Idea. <laughs> I like it. One of the things I'm really hoping for is like the, the sort of edge caching services like Cloudflare, Akamai, the, the CDNs. I mean, they're already supporting things like Speedy. I think Akamai supports HTTP2 already. What I really want to see from those guys is, um, is for them to understand particular headers that our servers would send. Like even if, so even if you're running HTTP 1.1, you could send along like a, a link prefetch header, and it would interpret that 
as a HTTP2 push. So I like so that's kind of like a halfway house. It's like my server's not ready to go HTTP2 entirely, but if I give you these additional bits of a nudge, then the people who do understand that you just giving them just that little bit of an edge of yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. So you like even that. send like an X header to say, oh, you know, X priority or something. That would be the signal to the the HTTP2 part at the at the end that can that can sort of do the right thing with that stuff, send the right frames uh, in, in the data stream. In any case, I'm sold. I think it's going to be great. I suspect we probably just need to issue an apology to pretty much every developer that we've misadvised over the last few years. Any performance talk before this time is null and void. That's yeah. Going to make uh, going to make us look pretty silly, isn't it? Oh, that's that's going to be awkward.